so good morning all in this problem we are constructing a funnel here so funnel consists of uh, two parts here one is a cylinder and one is cone rustum of a cone you can see the dimensions given in this okay for a uh, cylinder given diameter 20 and height 40 and a rustum of a cone height 60 and the diameter 80 so first i'll be drawing the front view of it by drawing an x y line here so the x y line i'll be taking little lower because so due to the height here so draw an x y line here draw x y line type uh, x y v p h p type x y v p h p here and then draw the front view ok v p h p so from the reference point I'll be drawing diameter given 20. So from the reference point, I'll be taking 10 mm here. 10 mm. Then I uh, will take axis. Okay. Then I will take axis. So here, axis for a height of 40 mm. 40 mm. 40 mm. Okay, now consider a height of 40 mm. So take axis here. Axis uh, length uh, that is 40. Select the axis here. Axis for a length of 40 mm. You can see that. Okay. Now I will complete the front view of it. Again 20 mm from the bottom face. 10 mm. And then vertically 40 now again okay now from the axis i'll be considering a height of 60 for the first term of cone yes from there the height i will be considering 60 mm okay now here the top face having diameter for 80 so on either side i'll be considering 40 mm 40 40 okay then join with the bottom face yes like that you can join so that completes the front view of the cone funnel here now you can show the dimensions this is 40 and this is 60 okay and we can show the slanted lens also here okay so distance between the end point here the diameter given shown here 80 mm now select the entire thing and place it within the boundary go to move command and select it and place it properly so that everything comes inside of that a4 sheet okay okay now we will extend it to see the total length of the cone okay so just draw mention the slanted and then go to extend to next here yes here at this point you will get the total length of the cone you can see that okay now using the split command so you can split it this is what the extended length here okay okay first i will be drawing the development of the cylinder here so for the development of the cylinder so the length we should consider that is 40 vertical height 40 mm and the the total length we have to consider that is pi d here we okay, for that circumference pi d length you can just check it pi into diameter diameter it is 20 can give it so the total length we get it that is 60.83 okay okay so this completes the development of the lower part that is cylinder now the upper part of uh, uh, cone we have to develop so i will be considering a length of 89.44 total length i will consider okay total length i will be considering here
okay reference point 89.44 is this length you can type same way from that uh, end point that length also you should consider two lines you can draw then we can give the angle in between them using angle between command to find out the angle we have the formula right small r by capital r into 360 degree okay using that we have been find out an angle that is 161 degree okay give the same length okay now go to angle between So angle can give 161 degree so this has been find out using the formula small r by capital r into 360 okay now we got the angle now i'll be drawing an arc here using arc by center command i'll take it little lower because it is uh, going outside i'm taking inside everything here now go to arc by center and draw an arc here we are taking a one of the uh, reference line here okay cut the arc okay so this completes the cone here but in part of that extended cone i'll be showing it so go to smart dimension that 29.39 i'll want to measure it is already split it you can see that so check the dimension and 22.36 again another arc i'm going to cut to show that 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 is what the extended part we have been used so give the radius 22.36 enter and cut the arc okay so you can extend it so we'll get the length here you can speed it up here to show that actual the uh, to find out the extended length here okay so this completes the problem you can subscribe for the channel and hit on the like button and the bell icon for the latest notifications and share it to the maximum students so that they can be benefited thank you for watching draw the development of the lateral surface of a funnel consisting of a cylinder and a frustum of cone so the diameter of the cylinder given 20 mm and top face of the top face diameter of the funnel given 80 mm so the height of the frustum and the are equal to 60 and 40 mm respectively so first we are going to construct the top view of this so top view of the cylinder is 20 mm and top face of the funnel is 80 mm so we consider here they have given the diameters we consider the radius okay the diameter of 20 it is reduced to 10 mm and the diameter of 40 mm so radius converted into 40 mm so two circles we have to draw in this from the same center point we need to construct two circle one is circle of diameter 10 mm and another is circle of diameter 40 mm So we show the dimensions for these two circles. One is having a diameter of 20 and uh, another one having a diameter of 80. Okay, now we will construct the front view of this by drawing x y line okay you can make mention x y v p h p now you project these lines from these outer boundaries to construct the front view 
okay so from the center point i will draw an axis you can see that uh, the height of the height of the first moment cylinder are given 60 and 40 so cylinder height is 40 mm 40 can mention the dimension 40 now you can see we need to project the projections from this funnel also so it has to be exactly at a height of 60 mm because they have mentioned the front weaves of the funnel exactly equal to 60 so now I am going to project it till there okay So that is exactly 8 mm diameter. Now we will join these uh, faces. So it is a funnel resting on the cylinder. So we will join this. Okay. By extending this, we are getting the intersection of these two lines on the funnel, wherein we get the exact uh, true length that is this slant edge true length we can get it by intersection intersecting these two lines in the funnel okay so we can find out the exact true length from this here so how much dimension you're getting it you mention it Same way for the upper side also you can mention the dimension. Okay, so first uh, we are going to develop the development of the cylinder. You can see here. You can write that so so that is a cone structure and that is a cylinder structure okay so now first we develop cylinder cylinder development so we have the formula okay 2 pi r circumference is equal to 2 pi r r radius it is 10 so if you do it in the calculator so if you try to find out so you can type 2 into pi okay you can type 2 into pi okay you can type 2 into pi okay into 10 so you're getting 62.83 mm so So first uh, you should consider the height of 40 mm okay you can construct upside upside or downside no problem you can construct it so the front view height they have given 40 mm so we consider a height of 40 mm here And this need to be extend till 62.53 mm. So you can extend till 63. There is no problem. You can mark a point. You draw a straight line till there.
so can mention the dimension there for the cylinder so it is having a height of 40 mm okay the total circumferential length it is 62.83 mm you can mention it Okay, now in the same way, so we are going to do the development of the frustum here, frustum of a cone. Okay, <clears throat> you can see that uh, we have the lens. So, so first I will take a reference point. So you can write down development of a cone. So upper portion is a cone-like structure. So development of a cone is equal to we have the formula theta is equal to small r by slant heads into 360 degree. So radius we have 89 and slant heads total length we have 89 mm. Okay, radius total diameter uh, 80. The radius will be 40 mm. And slant head is length, total slant head length it is 89 mm. Okay, so after <clears throat> so you can use the calci to find out how much angle you have to get it here. So it is here, we should get 161 degree. Okay, so take a reference point. And draw a line of length it is 89 mm the length we should draw okay because we should consider that last slant is okay that's why I have drawn the 89 mm and you should mark the angle here so angle it is 161 degree you can mark it now you take the compass so measure the length of 161 and cut the arc till that where we have marked 161 degree okay you can cut the arc till there you can just extend till over there where we have exactly marked the point right so till there you can extend the line so the angle we have considered here 161 degree so you can mention that a slanted is length it is 89 mm you can mention it the length here we have that is 22 can cut that because we should get a funnel right so exactly at a height of 22 mm we need to cut the arc there okay semicircular because it is not complete uh, cone it is a frustum of cone so it will be formed like a funnel that's why we need to cut it exactly 22 mm 